Good evening, family, friends, and supporters of the Wayne Valley High School Band Program. I am Mr. Gabriel Batiste, Director of Bands here at Wayne Valley, and I am beyond excited to share with you this year's virtual winter concert. Despite the restrictions set before us due to COVID-19, the Wayne Valley Band Program has been hard at work trying to make the most out of this school year. Preparing for an unprecedented school year such as this one required a tremendous amount of planning dating back to early this past summer. Thanks to the help and support from Wayne Valley and District Administration and the Wayne Valley Band Parents Association, we have been provided the necessary tools and supplies to be able to present this concert to you tonight. Tonight, you will be hearing from some of our many groups and ensembles Wayne Valley has to offer. You will hear three pieces performed by our Wayne Valley Symphonic Band. They are Three Errors from Gloucester by Hugh M. Stewart, Sheltering Sky by John Mackey, and Ride by Samuel R. Hazo. Keep an eye out for special guest performers, Mr. Nicholas Vigiletti from George Washington Middle School on trumpet, Mr. Alvin Scott from Wayne Hills High School on alto saxophone, Mr. Eddie Essie from Tunis Dye and Pines Lake Elementary Schools on clarinet, Ms. Emily Whitmer, who has just joined our music faculty this year on alto saxophone, and last but certainly not least, the beautiful, and talented Mrs. Christina Batiste from Tunis Dye and James Fallon Elementary Schools on flute. You will also be hearing from three of our chamber ensembles, our brass quintet, woodwind ensemble, and saxophone ensemble. The pieces, the pieces they are playing will be announced before their performance. You will also have the opportunity to watch our state and mid-Atlantic regional champion marching bands performance of their show, Push Persist Until Something Happens from earlier this fall. Lastly, we will be fe featuring six solo performances by select students of our symphonic band. Four of them have participated in this year's New Jersey Solo and Ensemble Festival organized by Arts Ed and Jay. Joanna Saxon, who submitted a performance for the New Jersey Solo and Ensemble Festival, was also selected for the National, National Association for Music Education's All Eastern Ensemble as one of the best musicians on the East Coast. Joanna will be participating in virtual rehearsals, clinics, and masterclasses in early March. Congratulations to Joanna Saxon. The remaining two solo performances are by seniors who will be majoring in music next year. Dan Lashinsky will be going to school for jazz performance and will perform the jazz standard Misty. And Justin Sonnet, who will be going to school for sound engineering and music technology, will be performing the second rotation from four rotations by Eric Samut. Before we continue to our concert, I want to take a moment to recognize our percussion students who un were unfortunately unable to participate in this virtual concert. Since we have been virtual for a good portion of the year, our percussion students have been unable to rehearse the music at home since they don't have the instruments necessary. Regardless, they have been hard at work with my co-teacher, Mr. Warfield, working on the fundamentals of percussion technique and literature, and will certainly be prepared for, to perform at a high level for what we hope will be a live spring concert. All the percussion parts you hear tonight have been synthesized or performed by a professional colleague of mine that had access to the required instruments. In the details below, you will see the timestamps and order of tonight's performance. Each performance will also have a brief introduction to help you keep track. Please sit back and enjoy Wayne Valley's virtual winter concert.
Thank you all so much for watching our virtual concert. What you just witnessed was a result of our students' hard work and commitment to excellence. If you are with a Wayne Valley Band student right now, please make sure you congratulate them for their efforts. As you can imagine, it was difficult for them to remain optimistic when they haven't rehearsed as a full ensemble all year. But this concert should be a testament of what they have accomplished and what they are capable of. Instead of thinking about what we wish we could do, we will continue to maximize on what we can, and hopefully we can share that with you live in the spring. Thank you again for watching, and have a great night.